In the antebellum house in Virginia, known as Plenty, psychic investigator Peter James found a wealth of haunting activity. He identified the spirits of a slave, a soldier, and a grieving woman named Mary. It was only after this initial survey that Peter was allowed to meet Beverly Erick and hear her amazing confirmation of his psychic visions. After making his initial psychic impressions alone, with no background information, Peter was allowed to meet Beverly Erick, her family, and the home's owner, Paul Downs. I feel like there is a young female. I did not get a name, but I got a letter M, female. That is, that was here, and I got a sense of her going back to the door, looking, um, or perhaps in anticipation of her loved one expecting him to come back, but he doesn't come back. To me, it was a wonderful experience, very emotional experience. Um, I was feeling tears of joy because this confirmed that the people and the events that I, I kept sensing and experiencing do exist here. They are present and they do coexist with my, myself and my family. Listen, listen. Stop it. Listen, there's crying. Listen. Listen. Hello? Communicate with me. When Peter came up, we were going up the stairs, he asked to have Mary make herself known to us. And then he said, give us something that we can all identify with. And her, the scent of her cologne, her perfume, became overwhelming. He called down the spirit of Mary and uh, to introduce me to the scent that I've been smelling here for years. I just never put two and two together. In the master bedroom where Peter had previously sensed the mysterious death of Evangeline Gardner, Peter had another hit. Do you know if medical people met here regularly? A doctor lived here. A doctor lived here, okay. Okay, that's why I felt medical. In the room where Peter had earlier sensed a female spirit and the letter M, he revealed a name everyone but Peter already knew. Who's here? See now the M. The name sounds like Mar Marie or Maria or Mary. Mary. Is it Mary? Yes. And he pointed out the name either Mary or Maria. And uh, so, you know, we kind of looked at each other and we said, yeah, he, he's definitely tuned in on something. I hear her sobbing hysterically. Just, just uh, pacing. I think the strongest emotionally was when he began to describe, uh, he could hear Mary crying. Handle the news that uh, someone is not coming back. It's, it's a very sad. I knew what she was sobbing about was the fact that he had chosen not to come back of his own will, because at that time I had visions of the Civil War soldier receiving an injury to his leg, making him feel less than complete. Peter sensed that injury in the spirit and in one of those present, too. Someone have a bad knee? Maybe. Yes, you have a bad Mr. knee? Downs. I do have, a, I've got a bad knee. I have an old athletic injury. <laughs> I never met the man before, and I didn't know it was that obvious. <laughs> I was kind of surprised about his accuracy. Uh, he seems to uh, be right on, you know, right on the money. Beverly believes that Paul's injury and the injury of the soldier spirit are not coincidental. She has long felt that Paul and the spirit are connected through a shared past life. I am totally convinced of, uh, that Paul and I have known each other for hundreds of years. I feel that Beverly and Paul um, have been together in a former life as well. And they're together now because there's some unfinished business to, to accomplish. For confirmation, Peter called up the spirit of Mary. It's cold, yeah, she's, she's here. Mary, Mary. Make your presence known. Speak to me. Mary. I think that um, Beverly could have been Mary in a former life. And, um, and Mary is able to recognize her sense of who she is now. And it's like looking into a, a mirror. The living factor, the day-to-day um, -day life factor of feeling like I'm possibly Mary and vice versa 
is very easy to accept, especially now. I guess I'd pretty much say I'm pretty much a believer now, uh, just, just from what I've seen around here and the fact that I had definite you know, proof of, uh, you know, just tying together uh, the presence of Mary as well as the, the cologne or the fragrance, you know, which is something that I've had for years. I just never paid any mind to it. Beverly feels right, right, right at home here, as she did many, many years ago, I believe, in a former life. When she arrived here the first time, she felt at ease and very much at home. Since all of this has been brought to light now more, more favorably from her perspective, that um, uh, she's, she's going to feel more at ease, and, and she'll be able to better cohabitate with the uh, spirits that, that are in, 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 in the house. I think that we're going to move forward here at Plenty, uh, continue to coexist. It's just a wonderful experience to know that I have reference several hundred years ago to, to draw from, to continue into the future. <laughs>